Uh, talk about the ups and downs of the day in general. Yeah, obviously did not play well at all. Um, you know, they, they did a great, great job. I got to give credit to them mixing it up. Um, you know, just trying to make me force things and you know, just dump underneath and kind of got greedy a little bit. Um, just got to check the ball down more than I did to uh, even when I did uh, today. So just got to be better, uh, better decision making. Um, at, at the end of the day, my teammates got me. Uh, defense did a great job. Uh, giving the offense a chance to win the game, and um, thank God for Andy Borgans because without him, I mean, I think we would have lost the game. So uh, made three clutch kicks and did a great job. As far as your confidence goes, any change in that, or do you still feel as confident as you did a month ago? I feel confident. I mean, I just, I just got to make better decisions. I can't force the ball down the field when it's not there. Um, got to make more plays with my feet. Um, check the ball down even more. You had um, six interceptions in 21 the whole season, five last year. You know, I think you would probably agree it was not even a great year. Um, you have eight, could have been nine in your last three games. So it's something that's obviously drastically you know, gone astray for you. Do you have any feel to offer what that might be? I just got to get back to work. Um, maybe that's preparing better, um, making better decision making, decisions. Um, just got to be better in general. I just can't force the ball at the end of the day. Tyler, I saw that you were wearing like a knee brace or tape or something on your knee. Uh, just, what, what was, I guess, bugging you with your knee? What's been going on with, with that? Well, yeah, I mean, I was having to play last week. Uh, I had a little bit knee injury versus uh, North Carolina. Um, but yeah, I was fine out there. Um, you know, it didn't affect me at all. I just didn't play well at the end of the day. Tyler, did this defense do anything that surprised you or that you guys weren't expecting in this game? I wouldn't say surprise, but they mixed it up a lot. Um, I mean, they did a great job of, you know, just making it tough to see. Um, they did a great job of covering in the middle of the field. Really good job. Um, you know, at the end of the day, just gotta make better decisions. Power the challenge ahead for this team. I mean, you check the first box, they're getting the six wins and pulled out the goal. I know that's just the first of many goals, but you know what November looks like, three or four on the road. The, uh, the, all the stuff you guys have gone through, how much has the first eight weeks prepared for what's coming this last third? Yeah, I mean, we've learned a lot uh, through losses, through this win right here. We've you know, learned a lot uh, more than I could imagine in year four for me, you know. So um, we just got to go back to the drawing board um, uh, for me and you know, just prepare better, get in the film room a little more than I did. Um, but yeah, um, this team fought through that adversity, I think. The last few years, we would have folded. Um, but yeah, we have, we have a really good team that you know just picks each other up when the offense is doing well and when the defense doesn't do well. So um, just got to keep fighting and keep moving forward. Obviously, didn't have a chance to ask you on Saturday, but the only guy who really hit memory was you on the sideline after the uh, Just what what was that that moment like for you, and how proud were you of, of the job he did? Yeah, he did a great job. Um, you know, very proud moment. He asks me questions all the time. What to do here, here, and here. So, um, very proud of him for going out on the field and executing at a high level. So, um, you know, he, his future is very good. Anything else for Tyler? Along the same lines, is, is there a chance that maybe you're pressing a little bit, trying too hard, possibly to, you know, you're at, a, at the point of your career where you're a veteran now, and you're trying to obviously go forward in your life with football. So, is there any possibility of that? trying to make things happen that aren't there? Uh, I mean, they just come with the field and try to force it. I mean, I just try to make plays that are not there. You know what I mean? So just got to check the ball down more and, and uh, protect the ball. Thanks for Cam. Cam, what did you see on your pick six on that play? Uh, Stu Lewis is in cover three. You know, he just threw the ball and just made a play on it. Not too much to be said. You guys were backed up a few times, like against your own end zone, uh, and I think two of the three times I thought something like, no, off the top of my head, but you guys, you know, held them to a field goal. Uh, just what's going through y'all's mind on, you know, in those situations? Uh, just been no break. You know, we kind of let them get down there. You know, they get in confidence, and we just gotta take the confidence back and put it on our side. You know, and just, you know, get as least as many, as least as points as possible. So, you know, if we get a, get a pig or a turnover or something like that, that'd be great. But if we can hold the three. 
was better than six. Are you guys like really confident in those situations right now? Because you obviously won the Clemson game like that last week. You had another one where James stripped it at the goal line. Like you guys have made a bunch of those in the last couple weeks. Yeah, I, just, I guess we just pride ourselves, you know, on not getting up to six points. You know, we won by the three points, but it's better than six. So. Yeah, Cam, speaking of three points, how much confidence do you have when Andy goes out there? You, you know it's going in? Yeah, that's like guarantee, yeah. <laughs> Cam, can, can you talk about James Williams? He had 13 tackles today. Just his progression this season. Yeah, just motor. You know, he just, um, I, I guess that's what Coach Gidget just giving him a bunch of confidence and being very reactionary. You know, instead of his head to wrap up, you know, I'm not always being a big hit. See it being a full display now. Can you talk about the interception in a little more detail? It looked like you guys had a call on possibly for that play. Yeah, it was a, it was a blitz, you know, the star blitz, and then, of course, you know, quarterbacks known throwing some blitzes. So it was just, you know, I was coming from the top down and just made a play on the ball. He just threw it a little too outside, so it was his mistake, so I capitalized on it. Did you kind of have a feel for exactly where the ball was going to go on, the, on that play, like you were standing there waiting for it? Yeah, you know, Kiko was inside, so yeah. just, he tried to throw it away from him. So it's perfect for me. Cam, I'm sure you heard, you heard Tyler say that, you know, kind of in similar situations, teams in the past might have pulled it. Uh, you guys obviously pulled through now through you know, deficits, a couple overtime games. What do you think about that says about the, the team's mentality, the team's attitude? Uh, that's the culture, you know. That's what Coach Chris Ball trying to instill in us. And, you know, you can kind of see it being on full display now. It's just we're not letting each other head go down, you know. Offense doesn't have a great game, but, you know, sometimes defense don't have a great game and they got to pick us up. So, you know, we just – and complimentary football as much as we can. You know, we just stand as a team, just trying to stack wins. Cam, obviously, this Virginia team beat North Carolina before, so obviously. So, did you figure that they were better than their record indicated coming in? Of course. And you can see from all the years past, every time we played Virginia, it was it's a good game. You know, what, two years ago, lost on a thing, field goal, and then last year it was, what, like three overtimes? So, it was like, you kind of expect that, you know, you just can't. We got a team record, you know, and that's where you kind of lose that, but don't let them sneak up. So, yeah, Cam, how, how important is it, like, the defensive backs seeing all the pressure that your front seven is getting? Uh, you know, it makes our job way easier. You know, you know, we don't got to try to cover too long and make the quarterback make mistakes, and that's what we can capitalize on the back end. Cam, three, your next four games, three out of four are on the road. Um, you know, what kind of challenge is that going to be? And do you like, do you like going on the road? Um, it's if you're ready to play anywhere, you know, it could be here, it could be in Canada, you know, we don't care. So it's on, it's on the road, but we prepare. Kiko is kind of a slug test out there today, but you guys obviously pulled it off in overtime. Just, what does this win mean to you guys? You know, we put it all on the line, you know, um, defensive players. <coughs> executing and we just you know try to play our our, um, our game play our do our own assignment um, we have full trust on our offense to do their job and you know it doesn't always end beautiful but you know we came out with the win so it was good Diego what does it say about the team that you guys are down probably to overtime you know two straight games and come out with wins both times I mean we just got to do our job you know um, fit our do our assignment do your 111 and if it falls no negative, you know, we've got to pick up and move on to the next play. And like I said, you know, it didn't uh, go as smooth as it was, um, but just got to, got to keep our head on swivel and keep working. They were picking up a lot of yards on that, on the quick slant to number yeah. four. Did that catch you guys by surprise, or were they just finding a way to go into open space in your defense? That, you know, that's a good offense. Um, that's a really good team. They had a stretch going on on us, and they, they got us couple of times and kind of adjusted on it and you know sometimes try to expect too much um, on the run and you know their four number four is a, is, a, is a playmaker and you know they came out of play and that's what they did um, just got to keep working and you know learn from it and adjust on the field so yeah you know, Cam had that big pick six um, right after halftime how important was that for the defense to kind of get back on track you know Cam's a Playmaker, and he came in clutch at that moment. Um, uh, swayed the momentum to, towards our side, and you know we just we just play aggressive. Um, we kind of played passive in the, in the beginning, but you know when you read your keys and you wreck fast, you, know, you make those type of plays, and that's what Cam did. 
you guys obviously, I mean, this quarterback known for getting some, some rushing yards, you knew he was probably going to have some attempts. He got one or two, but it looked like you guys did a good job of that. Just talk about your preparation for that and staying home. Yeah, I mean, that was like their number one successful play. Uh, was, was running that draw QB and we kind of game plan it uh, with our D-line staying tight, uh, playing in the pocket, and we just try to keep him in the pocket and not because he's dangerous with his legs. So we, we, Coach, Coach G did a pretty good job of emphasizing uh, draw preparation and our guys came out and executed. Hey, Kiko, you had a sack, Ruben had two more. Did you guys do anything in practice this week to really kind of emphasize pressure this week? Yes, uh, I mean, our D-line, uh, they've been doing their thing. Uh, they've been really good at pass rushing. Uh, yeah, the best interior in the nation. And, uh, you know, they were doing their job. Because uh, no surprise that those guys were in the backfield. So, yeah. Did you have Brent and back? Yes, we do have Brent and back. Good to have him back. You guys had a few situations, I don't know exactly the top of my head, but a few situations where you were backed up against the end zone and you know held Virginia to a field goal. Just what's the, the strategy or what what's like the defensive attitude in those situations? Our coach our coach keep emphasizing it. Um, they don't score on the two yard line, on the one yard line, it don't matter. You just gotta play play fast, um, do your one eleven and I mean everybody was executing um, you know, we got guys playing fast on the red zone. That's why you gotta, you know, turn on red, red light. You know, green light. I mean, <laughs> green light and go. So there's no second decision to make it at the goal line. You gotta pray aggressive, and that's what we did. Red light for that. Green light for this. Couple more. Congratulations. Um, you guys have been qualified for uh, a bowl with this win. I mean, what does that mean to you? You know, UF hasn't actually played in a bowl since 2020. They qualified in 21, but it's been a while. Yeah, um, you know I'm new here, and it's it's a, it's a great direction we're heading to. But you know uh, that's good that we're bowl eligible. So we gotta move on to the next game. Uh, we got NC State next week. We gotta go over there, and we gotta prepare. And that's what we're gonna do. We're focus, focus on the next game. Three, three out of the next four games, I think, are on the road. Yeah. Or less. How tough is that, or do you like that? I mean, it don't really matter what we play. Just gotta do our job, and that's what we're gonna do. Go and do. We started October up on a tough note with those two losses. How do you feel now that the month is over? They were able to come up with two overtime wins against Clemson in this one. Do you feel this is a real big character builder for what your team has to look forward for the stretch run? That's just totally a positive thing. Um, Sway's momentum are back, um, getting guys very confident, and you know that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna head on. Um, focus on the next game and prepare as we always do and get our mic right. Just uh, trying to cut through a little bit. Um, I don't know if it was like a, a TV copy, but that first kick, the boy just she took it and I was like, thank God. <laughs> uh, but overall, it was, just, it was really just, it was a, a spiraling win. So I you couldn't really guess, like for example, like Temple, Temple game, it was kind of more of like a, a steady win. Um, but here it was just, swirling around, so I have to just drive through. Andy, how important is, is the plan? And Mario said the field is getting money. What, what are you doing with the plan? Or do you, do you not think about those things when the field might be a little bit? Um, what you would say? Me personally, I didn't, I didn't really feel that. Um, but every time I go out there, I try to, since it is grass, I can kind of play it a little harder because I know there's a little bit more, uh, more cushion. But for example, like if it's raining or something, I'll probably probably try not to uh, go into it, come down on it, um, so I'll slip on it. There, there's only been there's only been two kickers in the last ten years here to make three field goals of forty or more in a game. You're related to the other one, <laughs> but, <laughs> but you are the first to do it from forty five or more three times. So what does that mean? You to do something your brother never did? I mean, hey, that's something I can have a one up on him. <laughs> um, if I see him later, so I'll brag about that. <laughs> it's uh, two weeks in a row where obviously you've had to make the kick with two minutes left or whatever it was to force overtime. How, I mean, even thinking back to maybe early in your career, how comfortable are you now in, in those late game situations as a, as a upper class man? Uh, very comfortable, honestly. Um, I, I think of every kick as the same. Um, it's like a game winning or game time kick. Uh, 
I, I kind of just have a mentality of just like, it's, I don't get one shot. Um, and that's kind of how it is uh, as a kicker. And you kind of just got to go into it like that. Just don't want to miss ever. What's the process like by which you communicate with the coaching staff about where you feel comfortable from, you know, different positions on the field, all of that stuff? Um, all that, it's, it's usually pre-game right. uh, for like the, the base. Yeah. Um, and then as the game goes, um, with like elements, if it starts raining, it starts getting a little more windy, um, we kind of just talk to, talk to uh, Coach Chris Ball and uh, Coach Maloof, um, just kind of just talk to both of them and, and kind of just work as a team. Yeah, Coach uh, Mario said that he felt pretty confident that you were good 55 in. Is that kind of how you felt too? Yeah, yeah it, we, just gave him the same like sixties and, and pregame, um, <laughs> but we, we we like to play it just a little not conservative, but um, just safe, I guess. You know, this is the word um, to just make sure that it goes in, um, just guarantee three points. Andy, uh, you and Will uh, are going to be destined to be uh, associated with each other forever. I mean, last year came down to you guys. Today again. Um, remember back in the day that you guys would battle each other. Talk about that because I know you're both from South Florida and obviously uh, last year it was determined by him and you and the same thing this year. Um, I mean, it's amazing. And, uh, me and him have a, have a great relationship. Um, even before the game, it's, you know, it's just simple, just a normal conversation and just make sure that, that he falls out and that I fall out. You know, and we're both from South Florida. Uh, so there's a, there's a little different connection there because we've been going at it since middle school. Um, so we, we kind of know each other, so yeah, it's fun. Andy, when we talked privately during the media day, we talked about the type of year that you were hoping to have. Do you feel that up to this point from day one, first game to where you're at, that you're on track, that you're headed in the right direction in terms of progress, what you're trying to improve on, especially with these longer field goals? Uh, definitely. Um, I feel like I'm, I'm going in the right direction. Um, there's always things to improve on and things to fix. You know, even if you do go perfect, there's, um, there's the little things. Um, that's kind of what I focus on. And as, soon, as soon as you perfect the little things, just keep, keep going.